say all together, you are so lovely. It is so prevalent to have this holy Eucharist, which is the substance of life. If we think, if we believe this worship, what we are doing now, we are probably more happy than other things we do every day. God wants to give us always His grace through the Word and through the Holy Sacrament, which means the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we know very well, any times or everywhere we go and we do the prayer, normally we say or we give the sign of the cross. The sign of the cross, this one, is very, very important. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, this sign of the cross is effectually the presence of God, calls of the presence of God, and also the calls of God. Uh, the presence of the uh, Holy Spirit. I know very well how many Christians do the sign of the cross, as well as how many Christians they don't do the sign of the cross. But from now, I hope, I believe, you hear my you know, sermon, so I hope you will do the same things which I am doing, I mean the sign of the cross. Somebody would say, oh, Father, I'm, my background is a Baptist, my background is a Presbyterian, my background is other denomination of the Christian, so I don't do the sign of cross, because it seems like the sign of cross comes from just the Roman Catholic. No. The sign of a cross comes from our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for you and for me, and showed us the Resurrection. The sign of the cross meaning is this one. In the name of the Father and of the Son means the Father and the Son is the same. From the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ came down where? In our life. And then not the Son goes or oh, you know the, the could goes to the heaven straight away to the God the Father. No. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and not going to straight away to the Father, but and the Holy Spirit. And then we say, Amen. So this is actually all our belief, our essential, essential of our life, essential of our faith, essential of our what you think, what you believe. How gracious when we say, when we do practice, we are not spirit like in God. We have a spirit as well as we have a, this body. So it's very important what you say and also what you do. So we say in the name as well as together the gesture, doing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit means God the Father and God the Son, the same things. And also the human life never ever will be the same, but with the Holy Spirit with the, and the Holy Spirit, human enter the kingdom of heaven. So this is the meaning of the, you know, the the sign of the cross. So from now, please, well, whatever you do at home or at the church, at the road, when you pray, you give uh, this sign of the cross, obviously, saying with your lips, with your heart, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Why this morning, this holy morning, the Sunday, the sixth, uh, you know, the Sunday of the Easter, it's so beautiful because Jesus, before going to heaven, he wanted to give up something very, very important, his new commandment. 
This new commandment we know very well comes from the old commandment. What is the old commandment? The old commandment is a ten commandments. I'm sure you know very well what does mean ten commandments. I don't want to listen one by one, you know, ten commandments. This ten commandments comes from the sign of the cross. Why? Because ten commandments we divided two things. One is love of God, and the other is love of your neighbor. So, love of God means in the name of the Father and of the Son. Love of God and Holy Spirit means neighbor. Love your neighbor. In fact, Jewish people, the meaning of the neighbor is not you know, the everyone. No. Obviously, neighbor, the, as a, you know, literally, the significance is uh, those who believe the Torah. I mean the, the word of God. Those who belong to Jewish people, then are or were all neighbor. So that time, neighbor means not you know the, the Asian people or Latin America or Africa people. No, that time just the Jewish people are neighbor. So love God, love your neighbor. This is meaning. But many people they don't know. Love, love your neighbor means everybody we have to love, even though they don't believe in God. Yes, now we could understand what does it mean Jesus' word, Jesus' new commandment. We cannot love our neighbor who we don't know, who don't believe in God, who don't know anything about the Bible. But listen carefully, if we believe, the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit, we love one another, neighbor to who don't know. With the Holy Spirit. For this reason, Jesus Christ now gives us a beautiful but powerful divine person. Normally we say the third divine person. Jesus said, I have said these things to you while still with you. But the advocate, the paraclete, the Holy Spirit, who abides with me always, who stays with me always, advocate, redeemer, who wanted to pay for my debt, for my sins, for my misunderstanding, any error, any things, I have done no good things. The, the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. So, when I say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, finally, and of the Holy Spirit comes to me, and this sign of the cross is a perfect as a, the key of the kingdom <laughs> of God. Whom the Father will send in my name will teach you everything and remind you of all I, was, I have said to you. If you don't believe in God or somebody doesn't believe in God, especially Jesus Christ, please pray for them. Pray for yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, help me. Send me, Holy Spirit, to confess you are my Lord. You are the Son of God. The missing is this one. Today, many Christians say, I believe in God, but they don't know who is Jesus Christ, actually. Jesus Christ, who came here to show us who is God the Father, and with the help of the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, Jesus Christ could open the kingdom of heaven. How? With his, you know, the weakness. He died on the cross in front of the people. He could 
done anything even though he had nothing to about the team. It seems like Jesus failed. His life was failed. But if we see deeply, open our heart deeply, we could understand why Jesus seems like Jesus failed in his life. Because accepted the death of the cross. Because God knows our heart, human heart. It seems like a strong note. Human heart is very, very weak. Sometimes very, very jealous. Sometimes very, very hatred. Complain. Misunderstanding. Confusion. Darkness. In a human eye must be someone who shared together this uh, divine love. This someone is, we know very well, Jesus Christ. Frail is a body. We, you know, the join together, finally. So, Christians, sometimes we can say, we can call them little Jesus, little Christ. If not, we have no opportunity, no chance to enter in the kingdom of God. So, Jesus, just Jesus, just only Jesus, understand me, understand me, and accept you, and accept me, and give me hope, and give you hope. Because He, just He, opened the kingdom of God, and give us His new commandment. Love one another. How? What I have loved you with Jesus' love. This is Jesus wants to give us and also wants to remind about his life is here and also the life is not finished just one day but will be continued within the kingdom of God and say this sign of the cross which give us the power. This power is, uh, we know very well, the forgiveness. The forgiveness of God. And especially to me and to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.